let me introduce you to Kia, who'll be in the class with me. Meet Kia, considered a high-end digital persona. Simon Fraser University professor Steve DiPaolo is her creator and has been researching artificial intelligence for 25 years. And it's real now. So I think there's a notion of how to do it right and how not to do it right. And we don't fully know how to do that. So at least getting up on stage with a Kia uh, and trying it live is a good thing. This 3D AI bot will soon interact with students to help teach a course about AI and ethics. The university says it's a first in the field. I'm here to augment discussions and deepen understanding of how AI impacts our lives today and in the future. He says using someone who doesn't look like him is to spark discussion. I think I went a little bit controversial so the class can, can think and react to it. But Kia will not be grading or assessing students. He says AI has gotten a bad rap and can be used to help people turn ideas into reality. There's, there's a number of people who can't do that last mile. They can't paint, they can't do a film, but they have this idea in their head and the AI can actually help finish that off for it. There is mixed reaction to its use in classrooms. I think it can be a useful tool if it's regulated. And I think it's also a crutch for a lot of professors who if they don't want to put in the work can like get AI to help them make their lectures or like their schedules. We're gonna see it all over healthcare. We're gonna see it in, in all different regions and areas, so I think it's important to know what its limitations are. The concept of human AI collaborations in the field of education is controversial. It's a slippery slope, obviously, right? I mean, you say, well, it's not a teacher, but, you know, a year or two from now, it maybe will be a teacher. We'll start replacing human teachers. Still, Kia will soon be meeting students. My role is purely to support discussions about AI, while the human experts guide the learning experience. Some are hoping it will stay that way. Mira Baines, CBC News, Surrey.